would never be male body positive and dudes heads off. For several reasons, not just because of because women don't acknowledge small dicks as being human beings, but also <laughs> Cause no man wants to come forward as the leader of small dicks. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to be the Martin Luther King of small dicks. <laughs> over eye contact, you know what I mean? That scares me personally because it makes it hard to avoid fights, even if you want to avoid them. Like, the other day, I'm going to this pizza shop in East New York, Brooklyn, right? It was this thug dude standing beside the door just staring at people as they walked in and said, I don't want to fight. So when I saw him, I tried to avoid looking at him, but like, he made me look at him. And the part that, that scared me the most was the way he made me look at him, right? Because as soon as I saw him, I immediately turned to a bitch, I was like, <laughs> he saw that and got mad. He was like, oh, where am I going? <laughs> Yo, who the fuck is you going to go to my mother? I'm about to smack the shit out of you. So, right, you deserve a fight. <laughs> you worked for this. You earned this fight. <laughs> Everything's weird about fighting, man. Like, especially like trash talking before fights. You know what I mean? That's why I feel like if you're gonna say anything before a fight, you should be intimidating. That's why I respect boxers. Oh, I'm gonna knock you out. You going down? But people don't say intimidating things in real life. You ever know before fights start in real life? People say their life story to give their whole life biography and shit. <laughs> Just see a person like, what? Cause you don't know me. I was born on a dark and stormy night. <laughs> My dad left when I was eight. You know how much I miss that nigga? <laughs> I'm a Gemini. That's the water sign. <laughs> and then the one, Gemini is not a water sign. And then the two, why did you show up to a fight wet? <laughs> what kind of altercation is this? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
small size, but to me, this is my size. <laughs> and though I am small, I am strong, and I am proud. Hear me roar. <laughs> Can't roar with a small dick, nigga. That's not <laughs> Because women don't acknowledge small dicks as being human beings. But also, because <laughs> no man wants to come forward as the leader of small dicks. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to be the Martin Luther King and Paul Peter. <laughs> <laughs> that should have never happened, man. It's not like with women how they say, you know what? The man talks about your body. You own your skin. Live with the skin. Love yourself. You can't. There's no. Now, you got a small dick, nigga, you better lie, like. <laughs> you better lie until she sees that shit. When she sees it, nigga, lie again. Like, don't ever. As soon as she come in the room, bitch, this ain't my real dick. I was just playing. I don't know. <laughs> you in the car and get a dog in there. <laughs> you gotta be a lesbian, nigga. You gotta be <laughs> lesbian equipment. That joke is for you white guys. <laughs> See your faces. <laughs> this is personal. I <laughs> saw you thinking like, hey, what can you just speak out about this? <laughs> what if more people did speak out about that? And they had a movement. You had to have a small penis actor in every movie. <laughs> <laughs>